Perdition indeed. She is here, yes? This is one spooky cave, Capitan. There's too much debris to dock. There! Dock on that platform, and we will row the boat across! The captain's quarters will be aft, but it looks like we'll have to fight our way to the door. It's blocked on the other side. There is another way, I think. Quickly, we go through the forward cabins, then the hold. The dead guard the other door as well. Fight! Yes? I'm here for you, Captain. What is it, Captain? Ahoy! Yes, Captain. At your command. Yes, Captain. At your command. Yes, Captain. Yes. Door's 
not blocked. Let's get below. Dead men tell no tales, and neither shall ye. a hole, no? Welcome to perdition, pirates. You're never leaving. Lively 
Sorry, or you'll take a one-way trip to the bottom of the cauldron. to be found here. She must be in the captain's cabin, no? Come to take me, Oak Javier. Not over our dead bodies. upon ye, and it will be your doom. <laughs> Let it go to your head. Back to the crabs. Hurry! You actually got the hook? I didn't think you had it in you. You're full of surprises, pirate. We're much obliged. Not that I fancy letting our good Captain Gordon go, but an accord's an accord. Take this rat back to his lady friend. You'd best avoid me from this time forward, little pirate. Next time you might not see me fast enough for Miss Annie to wave the white flag. That's done. Now let's get back to Wilhelmina and reunite these claw-crossed lovers. Gordon, you're back! It's a miracle. Oh, pirate, you've answered my prayers. Go tell Mo all is forgiven. Tell him he's made me the happiest girl in Skull Island skies. Thank you, pirate. Now that I know Wilhelmina's happy, I can rest easy. Tell Lasco we're square. 
Mao's spirit is set free. I'm glad to hear it. I thank ye. I thank ye, pirate. I got those poor lads mixed up in this business, and now I've done right by them. Time to deal with Ratbeard. I don't know where Ratbeard's gone, but I wager I know who does. He's the hidden mastermind behind every black market, criminal scheme, and dirty deed from here to Mushu. Go to Jonatown and find Captain Ahab. Tell him you want to talk to the Frog Father. Father. Hey, I, I've heard of him. You seem a decent sort. What the blazes do you want with the Frog Father? I'm afraid I can't help you. I know what the Frog Father is, but I don't talk about it. The Frog Father is not someone I want to offend. I have other troubles to see to. We here in Jonatown are humble fisher folk. Our lives are only as good as the day's catch. My best fisherman, Brody, was due back yesterday, and there's no sign of him. He was trawling for sky clams out by the vortex of doom. Hmm, now that I say that out loud, it doesn't sound like a good idea at all. I fear the storm may have drawn him in. Captain, you're tougher than any of us fishermen. Can you brave the vortex and see if you can find Brody? Thank <laughs> you. 
you have it along, Captain. Aye, ah, yeah? if I'm gonna troll a vortex, I need a bigger boat. This boat, she is a gunner, I think. We must leave her here. I'll ride with you then. Let's go! Well done, Captain. Well done indeed. You've saved one of our best. I'm afraid I have another problem. This one's even more serious. My son Norval's not back yet. He went to Rapa Nui to sell the month's catch efficient clams, you see. I expected him back while you were off finding Brody. It's not like Norval to be late. I'm very worried. We're just humble fisher folk. If we don't get that money soon, we won't be able to pay our, uh, upkeep. Go to Rapa Nui and find Norval. And maybe I can help you find the Frog Father. Not here. Maybe one of the water moles. They know where he has gone. Market is open again. You have goods? We will trade. Oh, you're looking for someone. Norville? Ah, Fisher Bird. Yes, I saw him. He was at last market. Sold his fish, got his pay. Where did Fisher Bird go? Did not see. He left when Rat Pirate caused all the troubles. And the Waponis came. Much confusion. Rat pirate? You don't think he means rat beard, do you? Rat? Huh. Long story. Ask Chief Omutu about that. Ratbeard was a friend of the Nui, but he betrayed us. He stole the sacred feathers for the Waponis, our enemies. Rat beard? Why does he work with Waponi moles? The Waponis have no honor. They worship an evil fire god and forget their ancestors. Now they circle Rapa Nui, singing mocking songs at us. The Nui are peaceful. The Nui are traitors, friends to all. We have no warriors to fight the Waponis. Can you help us? Take your mighty ship and turn your cannons on the Waponis. Destroy their warboats, and the Nui will do you great honor. People praise you, Captain, and I thank you. You have restored my people's honor in friendship. I offer you our greatest treasure, a mojo potion. My ancestors smile upon you. I do not know why Ratbeard has made this pact with the Waponis. My heart tells me he will regret it, for the Waponis cannot be trusted. You seek the fisher bird. Hunter Raku is his friend. Talk to Hunter Raku.
fisher bird. He who lives on the back of the whale. He is my friend. You seek him? He was here for market. When the red pirate and the Waponis caused all the troubles, Fisherbird ran away like many others did. I saw Fisherbird leave, was in boat with many pirates, was waving arms and yelling, looked happy. Boat sailed to Skull Island. Norville now. Hmm, Skinny Pete in the Kraken Skulls. He will have an answer for us, I think. Pelican? How should I know? Go ask blind you. That old kid has an ear to every keyhole on this island. May I be of more assistance? I've been standing here a while. I know everyone who's come and gone. A pelican and a group of dogs. You're in luck. I noted the briny smell of a fisherman's coat a while back, amidst a big group of panting pirates. I took the liberty of following them a short way. They were indeed walking with a long-legged seabird. They spoke not a word but made straight for the drain by the abandoned shack. I heard the grate open and shut. They've gone in the sewers. I... Yes, it's very dear to me. Get it back and I'll reward you. Go quickly before it's lost, or worse, destroyed. The old cat's right. There's a lot of tracks in the mud. Norval and some dogs went this way. This place is, how you say, Le Pew, no? Oi, who goes there? Hey, you're not Sammy. Get him, lads! For certain. I, I don't know who this Sammy was these villains were working for, and I hope to never meet him. What's that? Captain Ahab sent you. Good. I need to get the Frog Father's payment to him at once. I, uh, the Frog Father. Uh, Jonatown pays him each month to... Uh, well, uh, I'll leave that to my father to explain. I, uh, let's go. You have my thanks, Captain. 
My son is safe and sound, and you've recovered our money from the market. What's that? Uh, yeah, the money is going to be paid to the Frog Father, yes. And that's supposed to be a secret. We have an arrangement with the Frog Father. We pay him to protect Jonatown from all the cutthroats and other ruffians. You still mean to see the Frog Father? I advise against it, but very well. I'll send you down. That's right. I said down. You're pretty good, are you? But I reckon you can be better. Come see me. I'll teach you something new. You mean you haven't heard? The Frog Father doesn't live in Jonatown, young pirate. He lives under it. He and his dwell down in Gullet, in the whale's dark belly. They don't take kindly to strangers. And a stranger, you certainly are. Get in a bucket and I'll lower you down. Watch yourself. What is it, Captain? I'm here for you, Captain. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Captain, I need to talk to you about something important. Let's go to Tavern Cellar. Yes, Captain. So this is Gullet. What an interesting smell they've discovered. Who are you? Never heard of you. What's your game? Oh, you want to see the Frog Father? Sure, that can be arranged. Head up the ramp behind me, then turn left and down again. Big double doors, get ahead. Knock three times and ask for Rocco. Rocco? He's the Frog Father's doorman, see? He'll let you in. The password is, uh, Swordfish. Time we got some more training, youngster. We'll make a musketeer of you yet. What's a password? Swordfish? Yes? Oh, I see. Gate crashers, is it? I'm afraid without an invitation, you aren't seeing anyone. But the Undertaker, get them, lads! Oh. 
That's enough. All right, you survived the audition. Frogfather's house is across the square with the crabs outside. The password's... Ribbit. Ribbit? Seriously? That's your password? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. It's true, Frog's honor. Nobody's guessed it yet. Go on. What's the password? Uh, Ribbit? Go on in. Who is a stranger who barges into my house? You have spirit, pirate, and you're clever. I can respect that. Let us reason together. We can do good business. Why have you come to me? Ah, Ratbeard. It is a favor you ask of me to give you information. This I could do, but it is not that simple. My consigliere will explain. It is written in the Book of Favors that favors can never be given, only exchanged. Something for something, as the eagles say in Aquila. You want information. I want the stores of exotic spices the Monquistans hold in their fortress, the Presidio. A favor for a favor. <laughs> Understand. Go to the Presidio and sail behind the island. There is a hidden dock there where one of my associates will be waiting. Do we have an agreement? Mm -hmm. 